G'day guys, how's it going? All right, so in this video, what we're doing is the ultimate motorcycle camping fire starter, fire lighter, whatever the hell you want to call it. I've got a few other bits and uh, bits of fire lighter things that I'm going to have a go at. I'm going to keep the ultimate one for the very last. It's, this is only going to be bloody quick if I'd shut up bloody talking. Um, from, I've done a previous one where I did a whole heap of uh, fire lighters, which is really cool. I quite enjoyed bloody doing it. And then people commented with other ones. So I've selected a few of those, which I've added to this. Some are just a bit gimmicky. Some, I don't even know why I didn't put it in the last one, because it was so obvious. Um, and then, yeah, all right. So the first thing I've got to do is I've got to get the dog out of the way. Oh, I want poops. She's highly flammable. You sit down there. Alright, well, let's go and have a look what I got. Right here, guys, so here's what we've got. We've got fat wood. I'm gonna talk a little bit about fat wood, that was quite interesting. We've got Doritos, that's the gimmicky. We've got uh, sanitizer and a cotton ball. That was quite obvious. I don't know why I didn't do that one. And I've got a tampon. This is the cool one. Rightio guys, so I've turned off some of the lights because it always makes the little flames and stuff uh, look pretty good. Now, the first one what we're gonna do is Doritos. Um, you've most probably seen it. You can light a Dorito and it'll stay alight. So it's gonna be like a fire lighter and you've got a snack to go as well. All right, let's light her up. Rightio, here we go. Let's see how much it takes. Look at that. That's pretty bloody good, isn't it? See if we can really get it going. Yeah. Look at that, it doesn't take too much. And yeah, that would work really, really well. That actually surprised me. That's actually working way better than what I thought it would. Mm, smells pretty good too. <laughs> Rightio. Rightio, so this next one we'll do is the hand sanitizer and a cotton ball or anything really that's gonna, that you can mix this onto to create like a wick or whatever um, should work. So obviously this is good because it's multi-purpose same like the Doritos you can eat them or you can use them to firelight this you can use to clean your hands or bloody dishes or, or whatever you want and um, or you can use it as a firelighter so I've cleaned the hand jeez that was a bit bloody uh, runnier than what I thought in actual fact it's most probably not smart to be putting that all over my hands when I'm going to be lighting it up so now we're going to go over Ooh, that smells pretty good. Um, we'll go over there, because this may be a little bit more flamier. And actually, I want to do a cool way to light it up. All right, let's go. Rightio, so I'm presuming all I've got to do is just pour some of that on there. Just soak it in there like that. Oh. Juice it up like that. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to stick that down there. Hopefully, you can see that. I'll bring this down closer, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a little line all the way there. Light it here and see if it'll run and then ignite that, just for fun. Right here, let's see if we can get some of this shit going. Whoa, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Right here, let's go. It's going, it's going, come on, come on, come on, you can do it, go, come on. Oh, I reckon it's gonna go. Booyah! How was that? There you go, and look at that, that's that's a fire lighter if I ever saw one. <laughs> cool as. Rightio guys, so now what we're gonna do is fat wood. Now some of you guys most probably know this. Now I've heard of Fatwood, and it's when I watch the survival or the bushcraft and they always talk about, oh, I found some Fatwood and we can use that. And I just thought it was something that, I don't know, over in America, Canada, over that way, there was a particular tree that they got this Fatwood from. But, 
someone mentioned, I can't remember who it was, but said you can get fat wood from Bunnings. So I went and got it, and now I've read all about it. So fat wood comes from pine trees, and as we know, pine trees are bloody throughout the world everywhere. Um, but what fat wood is, um, is it's just laden with um, uh, sap. We'll call, it, we'll call it sap. If it's not sap, you know what I'm talking about. But it comes actually in the pine tree. It's it's when they cut down the trees, and it's it's right in the very centre of the big stump at the base. It gets really soaked with the with the resin or whatever the hell we want to call it. And this is what works as fat wood. That's what fat wood is. So it's the heart of the tree down below. There's just laden with resin and it comes out like that so they don't this is all natural this is when they cut down timbers and they have this fat wood in the base and then they they take that out and they chop it up and they bag it up and sell it at bunnings so short lookers are on so 100 percent natural fire starter the easy way to all natural fire starters just two sticks of fat wood to start your fire perfect for use and blah 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 so i'll just give you a quick read because i thought it was interesting Fat wood is an all-natural fire starter that is harvested from the stump of a pine tree. Over time, the naturally occurring resin, oh, so I got it right, resin, uh, accumulates within the stump and gives fat wood its excellent fire starting capability. Uh, harvested using sustainable yield forestry uh, practices and wood only from non-endangered species, our fat wood fire starter is environmentally friendly. Uh, no live trees are cut to make this product. It is a safe and easy way to start a fire. So, let's see if we can just start start this up, see what happens. Huh. I reckon that's, uh, that's, that's working guys. Look at that. That's brilliant. So you, you could you could carry this on a motorbike. I don't think yeah, I'd, for a motorbike camping. I don't think you're going to cut it. But um, you could like so. What I did was I just grabbed the bloody knife and uh, just shaved up. So you could actually just carry that. You could put that in your tank bag if you wanted to. And what we'll do is we'll go over there and we'll just light these up. Now clearly, I don't think you'd need. To use um, this much to get a fire to get a fire going. I mean, really, you don't need much of anything to get a fire going as long as you do it right. But for the sake of the video, let's see what we can get going. Well, there you go. That's pretty impressive. I've learnt something new. And I've got some stuff to play with. All right. Uh, what are we doing next? Now we're doing the ultimate one. Cool. Got it. Rightio, guys. So now we've come to the ultimate. And it is the tampon. This has got a plastic coating all over it, so it makes it waterproof easily storable in your tank bag anywhere now we're on a motorcycle out camping hey presto we have a tank full of petrol and you're going well how are we going to get that in there without losing it in there they come with a string someone mentioned this on the comments and i wish i could remember who it was because it was when i read it, it was bloody brilliant um so what i'm going to do is Open this up. Let's. Well, we should be able to just crack it open. Whoa! Slippery little suckers. Pull that. Oh, is that how? Oh, that's not very long. Hopefully, that's long enough to get into the petrol. Cool. Now, I have a fire extinguisher right there. So, mental note to myself: if shit goes wrong, fire extinguisher is there. Cool. Radio. Number one problem. I've got a 30 litre safari tank and the petrol's way down. So that little string wasn't gonna make it. So I've just got some paracord, that'll get me down. I normally carry para paracord so I could do that. All right, 
Rightio guys, hopefully we can get this in here and not lose the black. Oh, get in there. Get down in there. There we go, we've hit it. Right, mate. Yeah, that's, that's uh, soaked. So now I'm gonna take that over. Right here, guys, I'm gonna use the, uh, the spark and see if I can do it with that. Now hopefully. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Yeah, look at that. That's a fire starter and a half. So there you go, guys. That worked brilliantly. I didn't lose it in the tank. Um, that's a really good option. I just love the idea that, you know, it was just a, a simple tampon. It's clean. It's got a, a um, plastic cover on it. Chuck it in your tank bag and, and then just dip it into your petrol tank because you're always going to have a petrol tank with you. Cool. So um, to the... To the guy that uh, that uh, said that comment, thank you, you know who you are. Bloody, I love that idea. Cool. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. So that was the ultimate motorcycle camping fire starter lighter um, and a few other little ones thrown in. Um, you guys that know me, my favourite is petroleum jelly, cotton ball rubbed on that put into a plastic bag that's what I use and that's what I'll continue to use but I love those ones they all worked every all these things they all they, they'll all do the bloody job um, I think it's fun just trying them out I suggest you guys bloody give it a whirl have a bit of a, a bit of fun with it get yourselves off the bloody couch all right keep on riding and if you ain't riding keep on keeping on